We are going to look at another model in portfolio analysis, and that is the general electric model, yeah, which deals with competitive strength and market attractiveness. The GE model, it was developed by McKenzie, which is also known as the McKenzie matrix. Yeah, it was developed in 1970s after the General Electric asked its consultant, McKenzie, to develop a portfolio management model. And this matrix, it is a strategy tool that provides guidance on how a corporation should prioritize its investment among its business units. And this leads to three possible scenarios. You either invest, you protect, you harvest, and invest. Yeah, and those are the things. So it's, it is about prioritizing investment because there are some things that are worth the investment and that those that you're just supposed to protect when you're already invested, you don't have to invest anymore, you have to protect them. And then there are those that no longer deserve the investment. You invested before, but it's not working out anymore. You're supposed to get your money out of it. You divest. You divest out of it. Yeah. And when we are dealing with a general electric model, we deal with two things, and that is the competitive strength and then the market attractiveness. So the x-axis is for the competitive strength of a business unit. How competitive the thing is, the branch, how competitive is that branch, how competitive is that product or service in the market. Then the y-axis is for market attractiveness. Yeah, how does it attract the market? Does it have the attention of the market or it doesn't? Yeah, so they all have low, medium, and then high. We shall use the x axis. So the first one, the one in yellow, it has low market attractiveness, but it has a high competitive strength meaning it can easily get the market attractiveness later. So that one, you protect it. Then the one in red, it has a low market attractiveness and it has medium competitive strength. You harvest, if you already invested in it, you harvest. Yeah, you harvest what you invested. Then the one in light red, it has low market attractiveness, and then low competitive strength. So it has no future, you de-invest. Yeah, it does not attract the market and it's not likely to attract the market later because it's not competitive. So there you de-invest, you get your money out of it. Then if we go to the second lane, the one in green, it has medium market attractiveness and then high competitive high competitive strength, meaning that it has a future. It can easily attract the market. It can easily have high market attractiveness since its competitive strength is high. So that when you invest in it. Yeah, then the second one, the one in yellow, it has medium market attractiveness and it has medium competitive strength. You protect it because it's, it's likely to have a future. Then... The one in red, it has medium market attractiveness, but it has low competitive strength. That one you harvest. Yeah, you harvest what you invested because it has, its future is kind of not bright. Then we go to the third line. Yeah, the, the, the first one, the one in green, it has high market attractiveness and high competitive strength. That one, you invest in it, it has a bright future. Then the next one, it has mid high market attractiveness and medium competitive strength, meaning it can easily get high competitive strength. So you also invest in it, the one in green also, it has a bright future. Then the last one, the one in yellow, it has high market attractiveness or industry attractiveness. And then it has a low competitive strength. You protect it because the fact that it has the attention of the market, it can easily get the competitive strength. So you protect it. 
Yeah, and that is that is a general electric model. That is how it looks like. Yeah, we are going to look at the decisions for each of the component. So the general electric model, almost directional model, or competitive strength and market attractiveness. We said it is rated on a scale including market attractiveness and competitive strength. Competitive strength is for the x-axis, market attractiveness is it's for the y-axis. And it includes the following. So it has favorable businesses. Favorable businesses are those ones that have high market growth and then high, high competitive strength. So you build and grow them. And those are the favorable businesses. Then we have the medium priority investments. Those ones that have medium market attractiveness and medium competitive strength. So for the medium priority investments, you maintain them and do not expand them or you sell, or sell them off. So you just protect them. Then the worst performers are those that have low market attractiveness and low competitive strength. You sell them off and harvest what you can. So you either vest or divest. Yeah. You harvest and divest the worst performers. Yeah, and that is the general electric model by Mackenzie.